Okay, so what is up, everybody on YouTube? Welcome back to Two Bros. Uh, Gaming Hitch Streamer back in Final Fantasy Simulator 2019. We're at the Carlos Reliable Motors, and I just bought these two new tractors right here. They might not look at much, but it is basically a brand new mod to the game. These are both available on PS4 and Xbox One, and also on PC. So it is a web on all platforms as you can see. And it is a Fint 250 GT tractor right here. A Fint 250 GT tractor, that is what this is. And uh, it might not look at much this, but um, it actually have different kind of setups. So uh, it doesn't have any engine out here as kite standard tractors has. I think the engine Maybe it is an underfloor engine. It's an underfloor engine, so that means that the engine is just under here. But that is insane in itself, in its own way. I gotta say, I I, I really think that's cool. And uh, actually, that means that the engine is not blocking the driver's view anymore. With this new setup, drivers had a better view on the primary axle and the attachment tools implement implements. On top of that, the uh, equipment used assimilated to the already established S series, which enabled a lot of new possibilities. Sadly, Fin GTA series is not in production anymore these days. It's an old tractor, you know. So uh, you can actually go ahead and get in here. Small tractors. It is over here, as you can see. I'm just gonna find it it is right here so we have a 250 gt standard sound and then we have a 250 gt which just just shift a sound so this is how it looks like in the game you can go ahead and check out the platform right there like a flat pack you can take capacity then you can actually go ahead and combine with this you can take this i'm just gonna go ahead and just let it be like that and then we can take this that is that is the hanger top. I'm just gonna take one with this on number plates. Yeah, I want that seat. Yeah, I want the I want the seats right there to my dog. My dog is gonna be sitting there on my wife. Then we have this. This is uh, a front loader attacher. So we can actually also attach a front loader on it. I'm just gonna take one with front loader. Oh, that's not the one. I think. I don't know, I'm just gonna try something out right there, and then we're gonna go ahead and take one with platform. Right there, I'm just trying something out right now, guys, so that is insane. Well, let's go ahead, front loaders. Then we should be able to go ahead and take the Fint T350. That's the Super 1. This should actually fit. This should fit. I'm not sure it does, but it should. I'm just gonna try it out. Then we have like these. Just bought some more actually. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Let's, th let's go ahead and try out this. Oh, I'm just gonna take a look at it once again right here, guys. I think it looks great. I think it looks great. Let's jump into this. No, not that one. Not, yeah, that one. Yeah, I can hear that, that gear shift sound. It is actually changing gears. That's cool. Oh, the front axle is just wearable. Let's go ahead. Yes, sir. Got it on. Got a flicking front load on this. And then we want to have a... I think we want to have a bucket. Why not? I mean, like... That's the stall. We want a stall bucket think just we're gonna go ahead and just take this I guess I don't have any preferences Oof. so we got it on right here now with a front loader And I gotta agree to that, it is cool to see that the engine is not blocking the way, I mean like I can see the whole 
front loader right here because the the engine is underneath where I'm actually sitting. I like how it is actually changing gears. Right there. Actually it's changing gears. That is really cool. And it actually goes uphill too. Which oh it's a little bit heavy with the front loader. It's a little dingy dingy. to see that the exhaust pipe is coming out right there but I mean like it is really dingy dingy as you can see right there it is going down again it's extremely flexible in that front axle extremely flexible but I think it's actually kind of cool but if I go like real fast and go like this it just tilts right away let's just go ahead and take this so right here I don't have an engine but I can't see anything uh, in, in at all so it would be cooler to have this on the back this is not so dingy this is more stable what about this right here I think it's because of the the, the front loader that it's so dingy on the on the front axle. So let's go ahead and get it full throttle. It goes pretty well. So I don't know if you guys have already kind of downloaded this and played with it, but uh, I think it definitely you should go ahead and do that. But other than that, I think actually I'm about to like end this video. So I just want to say once again, thanks for watching, and we're gonna see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.